Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today I want to talk about something a little bit different than what we normally do. I want to talk about mobile games and being happy. So let me give you some backstory so you kind of figure out where I'm coming from with all this. So a few weeks ago, a mobile game that I play, a mobile game that I have dedicated two years of my life to playing, made quite a large amount of updates that essentially broke the player database into select populations so in one population you had a lot of very skilled players you had a lot of lucky players you had a lot of people that could spend money and on the other side you had like casual gamers you had people that played here and there but were still able to compete because they were able to be smart about their moves and this update that they made and the new content that they made in this game during this three week time frame essentially just made this line that divided these two players and made it even more clear and it was just so disheartening and I felt like me I tried my best to keep up with this side of the game not necessarily spending more money but making more tactical decisions and having to spend more resources and doing things that essentially kept me at top tier and essentially just tried my best to keep my head above water playing this game that I've invested so much time into and so many hours just things decisions that I feel like looking back may not have been the smartest decisions on my end and it like really struck me and it took like this massive update that made this giant segregation between players to really hit me that I wasn't having as much fun as I did before and I feel like people on this side of the fence understand what it means to not feel like you're happy with something that you should be happy with. Mobile games in their essence are games and games need to be fun. Games traditionally have been people's escapes from the real world in the same sense that someone would go and read a book. It's just a different medium. Games were meant to relieve stress and make people feel happy, to make them feel like what they were doing was worth their time, worth their efforts, worth their countless hours of grinding or skill developing. And I feel like at that point that game took all the effort of several players and just threw it in the trash can and it almost felt like a slap to the face. So what I did is that Instead of feeling super bitter about it and complaining and ranting and just being so upset at a game and something that I should be having fun with, I took a step back. I didn't make as much YouTube videos because I just didn't play the game as much. I took a step back, took some time off, and in that time, I feel like I made a lot of good decisions for myself that were just better for the quality of my life. In that time, I met up with a friend that I hadn't seen in almost a year and had dinner at like 9 p.m. going into the morning. I spent time with a squad that uh, was full of high school friends and were playing Fortnite. I spent that time going to a nephew's graduation party. I spent that time developing skills that I feel like I ignored because I was so busy playing this game. So I took a break from playing the game that essentially made me feel more stressed out and more upset than I should when I'm playing a game. So what do I want people to take out of this? I want people to realize that even if you've dedicated your life to this game, or maybe not your life, maybe just a few years, maybe honestly even just a few months, if you've dedicated yourself to this thing, know that you can take a break. Know that you can go on hiatus and that's okay. Know that you can Put this aside until you feel better and then go do other things that can make you happy. And I feel like I didn't make the wrong decision. I feel like I made a very smart decision spending time with people, spending time with family, spending time with friends. Because in the long run, these mobile games, they're not going to last. They're not going to live as long as you know we may or may not be thinking that they will. At some point, the game's going to cut off. But the people in your life that you care about and the people in your life that care about you, that's going to last a lot longer than a mobile game and it's going to be a lot better for your health than a mobile game will. 
yes, if you have a lot of fun with the game, then I definitely think you should keep playing it. If you feel like it's your stress reliever and it's what you do to keep yourself feeling happy, then do it. But if you're like me and you go through this distress and you feel like the game is causing more harm to you than it is good, if you feel like it is making you more anxious, if you feel like it is making you feel more helpless, if you feel like it is making you feel underappreciated, then take a break and really spend time with people that you care about, doing things that you care about, spend that time on yourself and develop a new skill or look into something that you haven't looked into for a while that you want to just become better at. Because there's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself. And to all my mobile game players, that is the most important thing, is to take care of yourself. And with that being said, just know that it's never too late to change. It's never too late to be like, hey, I've invested a lot of time into this, but I've done my time. And I've learned a lot, and I've made a lot of great friends, and I've learned a lot of new skills. It's time for me to move on and to do something else. So just know that it's okay. It's okay to take a break, and it's even better to spend time with the people that you care about. So with that being said, I am feeling rested. I feel like my heart is willing to give mobile games a second chance, and I'm ready to come back to a fantastic community. So the people that have been following me up until this point, you know, I am looking forward to talking to you again. I am looking forward to hearing about what you've been up to, you know, the things you've been doing, and I hope everything has been wonderful. With that being said, that is the end of this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to drop them down in the comments below, and I would be happy to respond if I can find the time to. But as always, everyone, until the next video, take it easy.